And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Ezreal adventure with Pike. We just defeated Gangplank. It was very close. We still haven't gotten to our level 8 starting power yet that will really unlock our deck and make our deck much, much better. Um, but we're going to uh, you know, keep trying on. We may, you know, if we don't, if we don't pass, we're just going to be trying to uh, gain those reputation points to uh, have enough to be able to get through it. But we're going to try to get through it without it. You know, we've seen that Pike's deck isn't really that great without that power, but we so far so good. Uh, we have defeated our first two adventures, but now up next is Ezreal, where Ezreal is going to be creating a Mystic Shot uh, in the foe's hand for every single uh, match that we play. And that's going to make life a little difficult, but here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, head on over here, check out our first power. We do now have two rerolls, so that's good, because uh, these powers aren't very good. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Ooh, Trifarian Might is always a great one. Let's get Trifarian Might. There we go. All right, so Trifarian Might, that says that our five plus power allies will strike, you know, strike something. That's really good with this Pike that already has the pickaxe. So all we have to do is lurk once and then Pike will be five power. And then whenever we play Pike, it will strike. And so that already goes towards the level up. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so our first match, Power of Observation, all players summon a Hextech Observatory. All right, so that's a, a great starting power to have. All right, Hextech Observatory. Ooh, our Blood Baits cost zero mana. How about that? I forgot, like one random card has a random common power. And looks like that's going to be it. So I'm going to just send... Actually, everything. Let's send everything back, because we really want to find pikes. There we go. There's a pike. It's our free, free attack. All right, we hit the lurk. Oh, and it's a death from below. Let's get to work. Dude, throughout the entire match last time, we hit zero death from belows. How crazy is that? Okay, so what we're going to do here... So the Chum of the Waters is free. So we'll go ahead and play that. I'm going to wait till next round to play Death from Below. Like, I want to get Pike and play first. Before Death from Below. Good hit there with the Petty Officer. Get another 3-1. Get two 3-1s. All right, sorry about that. We had some <laughs> problems with some neighbors walking their dogs, and my dog's getting pretty upset. Um, but anyway, um, so we want to get this bike in play before we death from below. Right now, with the first spell refilling our mana, we get to play our first spell for free. So we'll play this from the waters for free. We'll see what else my opponent wants to do. So the problem with playing the the long tooth, of course, is since we have the Trifarian Might, the long tooth killed the opponent's unit, and so my uh, Pike didn't get to do the damage. Alright, deal one to my followers. Want to play something? Yeah, there we go. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. Pike would... Does it count as striking twice? I guess it did. Because, like, it strikes for the death from below, and it also strikes for the Trifarian Might. So, I think it might have struck that thing twice, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I kind of think it did. So, of course, the one time we get a death from below is, like, the very first match that's, like, the easy... <laughs> the very first one's the easy one. Okay, victory. So still at 30. I'm feeling pretty good about this Trifarian Might Power. These are not good cards. I guess pick a card would be the best out of that any of them, but I do not want these other two at all. 
I I mean, we have one reroll left, I suppose. That's why I as well use it. All right, Pike. We'll just get more copies of Pike. Yeah, add two copies. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Well, that works out. That was a good reroll. Let's get some reinforcements. No lurkers. Uh, we can either have Shadow Isles or Piltoverns on. Suit up Patrol Wardens Vi. Hecarim, Shark Chariot. Okay. So I don't think I'm, I'm not very interested in the Senna. It's going to be one of the other two. Both Vi and Hecarim probably have five power. Like Hecarim definitely has five power. Vi probably does also. Um, so I could really see going either way. I kind of want to just take the Hecarim, to be honest. I think I'd rather have Shark Chariot Blighted Caretaker than suit up Patrol Wardens. He says, question mark. Hmm. Let's try Hecarim. I don't think I've never chosen Hecarim before, so let's let's try Hecarim. Okay, so we talked about this previously, but if we go towards the Eye of the Dragon, we can get another power down here. That Eye of the Dragon was really difficult whenever we played against Eye of the Dragon previously, but I want to go towards that power with Pike. Like I don't think our decks, you know, like with. Like, I think overall, with Pike, we need we kind of need another power. But right now, I like our deck. Like, with the Trifarian Might, and with getting more copies of Pike, like, I think, our, I think we're doing okay for right now. So I think we can afford to go look for another power. Alright, send y'all back. Um, the question is, is this one. Do I want a second Pike just in hand or not? I guess I send it back. So we can try to get a Death from below. Shark Chariot. Well, I guess we could wait on Shark Chariot. Yeah, we could wait. So they probably play an Eye of the Dragon here, right? Nope, never mind. Okay, so I would not have hit Lurk. I do not want to play Eye of the Dragons. So Trifarian might hit the weakest or the strongest. It's the weakest. Lurk again, unfortunately. Really want to hit Lurk, so I really want to turn this Pike into 5 power. Really want to hit it once. Man, we would not hit Lurk on any of these, though. Yeah, we can just let that happen. There, we'll take three. Keep that thing alive, I suppose. That's how we can hit Lurk. No, don't stun stuff. How bad do we want to hit Lurk? Is the question. And I think the answer is pretty bad, but like, obviously the problem is they get to just block with the Draggling. I want to hit it pretty bad. 
Oh, right, the thing is vulnerable. Okay, never mind. We good, we good. I forgot about that thing having vulnerable. Okay, now Pike's a 5 3. From shores to hills, we know every acre. Okay, I should have just done this to begin with. I should have just bone skewered first and then played the Snapjaw Swarm. That was just a bad decision. That was... That's my bad. That's how I should have done that. That's my bad. Because then, then we'd have the Death from Below. Alright, but I th think we're looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So that's my bad. But we didn't take any extra damage or anything like that. We killed them right away anyway. Alright, so we got through the Eye of the Dragon. Very good. We need more Lurkers. Y'all are not Lurkers. I guess I'm going to take this Concussive Palm. Concussive Palm could actually be really good against like a, a big Gangplank or something like that. Oh wait, we're, we're facing Ezreal. Sorry, I was used to... Gameplay, but whatever. <laughs> it can still be good. Dispel, it draws a card. Um, let's see. Tribeam. Salvage. Salvage that gives plus four, plus four. Um, we're definitely buying a reroll token. I don't think I'm going to buy any of this other stuff, though. Yeah, I don't... I think we're just going to go ahead and... Go ahead and pass there. Alright, so... Lingering Shadows. This is what I think. I think this is where we get a power because we fight this boss here. When it, whenever a unit dies, grants a random unit in that player's hand a plus one, plus one. That's pretty good with like my Shark Chariot and Blighted Caretaker and stuff. And growing the units in our hand is going to be nice for our Trifarian Might Power, which I guess maybe that's why I should take the Salvage to like what he gave the plus four, plus four to help out Trifarian Might. All right, good hand. So those things are going to be one mana. That's kind of scary. Alright, let's make sure we hit Lurk. You know not what you do. Yeah, why, why did I attack with that? I guess we grow the Snapjaw Swarm. Please alert. Yes. So that those can trade. Okay. Yeah, just want another Snapjaw Swarm next round. Not really. Yes! That's what I want is a pike. Whew, we're getting kind of lucky here. Not gonna lie, we're getting kind of lucky. Okay, so Death From Below will strike the 6-3, but then Trifarian Might strikes the 4-3. And so it looks like the Trifarian Might happens first, though. That's it. That's good to know for future rounds. Alright, so we're down to 14. Yeah, we got some Lurk Luck there, for sure. Um, they play a blocker if I pass, right? Yeah, they play a blocker. They have to. No, they didn't! Oh, uh, I wanted Trifarian Might, their blocker. Alright. What? Alright, we need a blocker. So now you're a 5 2.
Down to six. Okay. I know I'm not. Okay, this is kind of an odd decision. Oh! Spell shield! <laughs> okay, this has not been my best run, but Trifarian might still bust it. So, what I'm thinking here is so we have no pike left. Why is this still Bone Skewer? Oh, is this not getting... I I did that just so I could grow this pike a whole bunch. Well, that's kind of a ripoff. That was like the whole reason why I did all that. Because then, you know, like we... To get the plus one plus ones from like the silent shadow seer ability of like you know whenever a unit dies and like we had all those ephemeral units die the dragon speaks through me. if i bone skewer this does that thing die also yes it does okay good to know Okay, so that was not my best round. But unless they have Will of Ionia for the Hecarim, they go and die. Alright, cool. So 14 life, let's get a new power. Maybe Round Start Rally? Or all my stuff has overwhelm. Um, double stitchy and onlooker for one man is not bad. Two, four, one fearsomes. I think that's better than this other stuff. No new power? Yeah, there we go. That's where the new power is. I got one reroll. When you summon an ally, give it plus one, plus one this round. Eh. Reroll. Mm. I guess that when you summon an ally, give it plus one, plus one this round would have been good for my Trifarian Might. So maybe I should have just taken that. Yeah, I should have just taken that. I, I like that more than any of these others now that I think about it. I should have just taken that. Because then I have, like, the four ones, they turn into fives. Yep, yep. Well. Have everything be challengers or enfeebling strike? These are the two that I'm considering. I like everything challengers. It makes it easier to attack to help trigger lurk for the falling heals my nexus I definitely don't want encroaching shadows line them up gets a poro but I don't really care about a poro so this is like an eight mana card that heals my nexus eight it's not any good but at least it's basically I'm just taking eight mana heal my nexus eight all right karma Are things having challengers good against this karma right here? <laughs> I think I should take encroaching chatty encroaching shadows. <laughs> okay, so we all start with ten mana gems. Um I guess I get like Shark Chariot, Shark Chariot for the Fallen. No. We shall keep Pike. A couple pikes. Oh. 
No, we miss Lurk. The answer lies within. Uh, I really need to hit Lurk there, so then my Pikes had for five powers. I should have kept that plus one, plus one, because then that turns these Pikes into fives. What am I doing? I should have kept that. That power would have been good. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Oh, I saw it. Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to keep two cards against Karma, because it's already round 10 anyway. I had a good run here. I messed everything up. My fist. I messed everything up. Do not question our resolve. That's not so bad. Thank you. Oh, and it's a pike. That's good news. Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no Death from below on top. They're trying to save us with some pike luck. Um, and basically, do I trade that for the 3 2? Maybe not, actually. Because I think the Death from Below may be able to, like, just clear out everything. But they usually have Deny. Like, that's the thing, is, like, we have to, wa we have to watch out for Deny, because I think they basically always have Deny. So, good. Wait for them to tap under Deny. And we'll just clear, clear everything up. Man, I could have done much better in this game. Just this run in general. I, from starting, from getting Trifarian Might at the beginning, I've done very poorly to capitalize on Trifarian Might as a power. I think it's, it's pretty important for me to Bone Skewer the Pike back on top while attacking, I think, so I can get another death from below. Oh, but they're going to have Deny, aren't they? if they deny this, I guess the game's over. Oh, no, deny? Yes. So 
just the two cards left. We get a death from below. Man, I have wasted a lot of resources and everything. I have to play a unit, right? No, I guess not. I guess we put a Snapjaw Swarm on top so we can get a free attack. Yeah, they, the AI is doing a lot better job of burning their mana now than what they had in the past. Trump the Waters is good. Alright, we'll stun that. No, there's their deny. Hey, that like almost kills me. We do have... Ah! Oh, all the denies? Uh, hit Lurk? Hit Lurk? Okay, that was kind of a waste. Wow, that was definitely a waste. Double challengers. Double flea feather trackers. Oh, and we're bringing back the shark. Wait, why would they recall that? <laughs> I don't know, but wow, I can't believe that we got through that because I. Whew. I have the wrong power with that challenger, for sure. That plus one plus one would have been so useful. But we're continuing on. We are continuing on. So Will of Ionia draws a card. Four mana, Withering Mist, or Nautilus. We're obviously not taking Nautilus. It's the other two. I want to take the Will of Ionia, I think, because I think we need to draw cards. As we see, we have, we are running out of cards quite a bit. Man, back to 30. Get a new power. Something increases the power of our stuff, hopefully. And no, but... This is interesting. Okay, I don't ever take this power, this counterfeit copies power... But you know what? I think this is actually where we take counterfeit production. I think this is where we actually do it. And so, like, the whole thing is that we can put more and more pikes back into our deck. I think we try it. All right, epic champion items? Yeah, like, we're going that way. This is going to be interesting to try out this, this new power. Player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws that many. All right. I want to go towards that epic champion item. Yeah, meme power. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to keep copying Death from Below and just make our deck all Death from Belows. Okay. This Is this hand any good? No. But it doesn't matter. Right? Whatever you keep here doesn't matter because you just shuffle it away anyway. So, <laughs> you know, like when round start, you're shuffling anyway. Might as well keep whatever. I don't really want to counter for copies any of these. Go ahead and play that. Oh, the counter for copies gets shuffled? But then we redrew it? That's luck. Alright, counter for copies and pikes. Play that. I guess that's a, our challenge. Okay, just in case, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to. Just in case. 
What's up, Choo Choo? How you doing? Uh, will I be doing seasonals this season? No, I will not. Unfortunately, the seasonals is tomorrow. I had it wrong. I thought it was not for another like week. I thought I had. I thought it was next weekend, and so I thought I had this next week to rank up. And yeah, so I missed it. That's my bad. Oh, there we go. Hit some death. We're gonna have a death from below. I think. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we still draw the top cards of the deck. Alright, good to know, good to know. Um, let's get a pike in play. I mean, they're gonna play something, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, opponent. Because our regular pike is basically death from below. So I want to just get a regular pike in play instead of wasting a good death from below. Yeah, I, I know it's on top. I didn't know if they would completely shuffle the deck like with this power. Sh you know how it just shuffles their hand into, into their deck and then draws that many. Oh no! We have Pike's Bone Skewers. I am I supposed to counterfeit copy Pike's Bone Skewers? I guess I could have bone skewered and then counterfeit copies the new pike. Look ahead, not behind. Hmm. My past flashes. Ah! Yeah, the counterfeit copies gets created at the beginning of the round and then gets shuffled away. Lurk. I think our deck's gonna be pretty sweet though, like whenever we actually have like regular hand and stuff. Alright, let's put Pike back on top. So we can have new Pike. thing. Okay, get rid of you. Alright, they're at 11. We're going to finish this game up. Alright, get rid of you. And now... Kill you. <laughs> That's a lot of bones to pick from. Basically. Uh, Alright, we'll attack. Alright, cool. Still at 30? What if we get like the S tier ranking for staying at 30 life after this? And we probably won't, because I don't think we can heal our Nexus against Israel. So Bloodbait gets zero cost followers. That doesn't seem very good. Shark Chariot, start a game, just draw Shark Chariot. That's not so bad. Or Snapjaw Swarms have barriers. I would rather have more copies of Snapjaw Swarms in the deck, just in general, so I think we'll just have Snapjaw Swarms have barriers. So then we get, like, the free attack with the barrier that we don't really have to worry about. Champion item. Oh, man! Do we have Pike at plus four, plus four, but then cost two more? So Pikes would be six cost? But Death from Below's would still cost four, right? Would Death from Below still cost four? I don't... Oh, man. Maybe that's not necessary. Okay, that, we'll keep Pike at four mana. All right, so we're gonna give Pike Barrier or Elusive? It's Elusive. We about to fight Ezreal? We'll give Pike Elusive. Yes, give me that reroll token. I need that. I would have liked to reroll token last time. So we can have one mana Bone Skewer. 
don't really like any of these items. Alright, what are we going to be going towards? Just a common spell chest and a common Adaptatron? I guess probably the Adaptatron. I don't really know about the spell's chest. I guess we reroll here. I don't really like any of these. Okay, Hatchlings can have Pickaxe. And Redfin Hammers can have Support. So it just gives us some more Lurkers in the deck. Sounds good. Alright, we'll go towards this Adaptatron and see what Adaptatron's all about. Yeah, Bone Skewer 1 mana does kind of help us combo a little bit. But I don't know if I really want more Bone Skewers in the deck. Maybe I, maybe I should. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I should just take the Bone Skewers. All right, send it all back. Look for Pike. Pike's the most important card. Yes, we got a Pike. Counterfeit copies the Pikes. Makes it more likely that we, you know, lurk a Pike. Uh, sure, we'll pick this. Yes, we hit Death from below. Awesome. I wonder if the Death from Blows would still cost four if we would have done the other ability. All right, put more Death from Blows into the deck, and guess we can now play some more Lurkers out. Oh, I yeah, that's fine. All right, more Death from Blows. Get double four ones. Okay, so you're going to challenge you. You can challenge you. You have support, bro. I'll all y'all attack. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so regular lurk, not a death from blow. Pretty soon, going to have like nothing but death from blows in our deck. Ooh, all right, that's a good regular lurk. We get another attack. Then again, we can just play Pike. Ninja Pike. Yeah, you want to attack with your elusive? Haha, <laughs> more death from belows. I guess I played a spell. I could have I could have passed right here after playing the spell, and then they play a unit, and then we kill them both. But it's okay. Alright, GG's. Man, yeah, so our whole deck's gonna be Death from Below. This is gonna be awesome. Still don't think we're gonna... We're not gonna feel to finish at 30 life because Ezreal makes a whole bunch of spells, but that's okay. Um, so Petty Officer's free. Refill mana. Like, that's that's kind of enticing. Or we just have tough, tough Snapjaw Swarms. I like the refill mana. That's kind of cool. But do I really want more Petty Officers in the deck? No, maybe not. Alright. Tough Snapjaw Swarms. Oh, what are you? When I'm summoned, double my power and health? Huh. So you get 16-16? That's kind of cool. This thing heals Nexus. There are two ones that heal our Nexus for two. Three mana, five three fearsomes. All right, we got to buy the 5-3 Fearsomes, considering we have Trifarian Might. Yeah, we should probably buy 5-3 Fearsomes. Which, then again, I guess we could just have, like, 6-1 Elusives that kill stuff. You know, like, all these with Trifarian Might are actually kind of cool, but they're not Death from Belows. All right, that's the only one we're taking. Travel. Oh, we can't even cut a card! <laughs> we don't... Because we don't have... Um, that ability yet, because our pike isn't very leveled up. Alright, because, yeah, every round start, they're going to be making these stag shocks. And 
in their hand and so getting those like five one turrets aren't very good against static shocks but this is why we're not gonna be able to finish at 30 health but that's okay yeah <laughs> i could add eight mana 16 16. <laughs> um i will mulligan mulligan I'll keep the other two but look for pike Oh, I should mulligan the hatchling also, shouldn't I? They're just gonna kill it anyway. It's gonna kill the static shock. Yes, pike. More pike, please. Uh... Lurk? Yeah! It wasn't a pike lurk. Made sure to get the lurk in there. Sure. Well, I'm gonna now save two spell mana for a bone skewer. There's a death from below. We got a death from below. And yeah, we're not going to be able to finish at 30. That's alright. Alright, so I can make more copies of Death From Below. Pass. Priority. It's a patched portal bot. Right. Make our ninja elusive. To be honest, that's, that's kind of not even worth it. No, that's not even worth it. Like, it, all that does is just kill a 2-3. I don't, I don't need to kill a 2-3. Like whenever I play Death From Below... I just want Death From Below that thing. You want to hit the higher power thing, and then it, Trifarian Might strikes the lowest power first, and then the higher power one. Yeah, see, the Death Room Below is just going to kill both of them anyway. Oh, I didn't counterfeit copies Death Room Below. What am I doing? We'll have to make another one. Yeah, sorry, I was talking about like what was going to happen there and forgot to copy. Alright, so we'll copy over first. Pass priority. So long, city of progress. Kill both of those. Kill that thing. I feel like this run, like I tried to mess this run up so many times, but Tritharian might just didn't let me mess up. Even though I was trying so hard. I tried so hard to lose this run. Trafarian Maya said. How can I help? I'm not gonna let you. You know what my future is? Glorious! I don't know. I don't, is that a glorious future? It's kinda exploded immediately. Always seeking new horizons. Doesn't seem that glorious. Got a pool shark. Good draw another one. My father sent you. Okay, GG's Azrael. GG's Triparian might still busted. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, you the best.
especially Pike with Trifarian Might, like with the you know leveled up Pike's ability that just clears their board. They just couldn't do anything. Get those reputation points. I need those. I need that reputation. So we can level up Pike. When I level up, create a copy of my champion spell in hand. It costs zero this round. Okay, so you get to... Yeah, so you didn't ST or any of those. So you do continue to create um, powers that you already own. Gain a relic slot. Thank you. Oh, wait. Click that. There we go. <laughs> Petition to nerf Drivarian White yet. Okay, we're 75 away from the new starting power. So when we look at our relics, yeah, so you can have multiple of the same relic. Okay, and the reason why that is, is because like if we put like a relic on, um, on one champion, then you don't get to use it on any of your other champions while it's equipped to the one champion. So it looks like I have, oh, I have two Ravenous Hydras and two Dreadweight Chase Guns. Wait, oh, but could, I guess I could just equip two Ravenous Hydras so like my Caitlyn or somebody like can just do like two damage to all enemies. If you have two Ravenous Hydras on, man, that is strong. I guess, I, like, I guess that's how that would work. Okay, so that is going to be... This is only game start, Heal Your Nexus 2. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, Pike facing Ezreal. We're super close to the new starting power whenever we face Jace, or uh, face Zed up next. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. Alright, so those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments. Let me know why Trifarian Might is your favorite power in the game. Because <laughs> it is amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Can never say that enough. And we'll see you for the next video.